our airplanes are based at Flying Cloud, which is a, a suburb of Minneapolis. Anyway, Rose was one of our main plants. Um, it's probably it's the primary employer for Rozo up there. We run up in North quite a bit, and we stay there with our airplane without a hangar. We're hopefully getting a hangar this year, but uh, it's just been elements, out the elements. So what we've done in the past is we will run a uh, block heater in the air, for, uh, a space heater in the aircraft to keep our our instruments warm, and we've always used your Tannis heaters for your your blankets. To hold the engine heat, and they, they, and I'm not just saying this because you're on the phone, but they do a fantastic job for holding the engine heat. To start out with, two or three years ago, we started using the battery heaters. So the battery heaters are, are fantastic because we can we can get the cranking amps out of it, you know, because it keeps the battery warm. Well, that was the first step in this whole process for us. I said, well, they worked fine. So when we when we wound up putting these engine heaters on our first aircraft, I was to say the least, I was stunned. Um, we have middle of the summer temperatures when, when we start at 30 below zero. Yeah, 24 mm -hmm. degrees Celsius, anywhere from 24 to 30 degrees Celsius when we start our engine in, in the afternoon after it's been sitting all day in sub-zero temperatures. Wow. And that to me was incredible. It just it saves so much wear and tear on the um, you know the whole the whole oil system, the props, the, the engine, everything. So it's been a huge plus for us.